So first off, I have a story about four Chinese miners who were trapped underground for 36 days. And just yesterday, they were rescued. The men were trapped in a gypsum mine in eastern Shandong on December 25th after a cave-in. There were initially 29 people who were trapped. Now up to 15 have been rescued, including the first four miners. One person has been confirmed dead, however, 13 are still missing. The four miners were detected more than 200 meters below the ground. That's 656 feet below the surface. Local media sources are saying that the men are being examined at the local hospital. There were over 400 rescue and emergency workers who are helping with the rescue. For several weeks since the collapse, the rescue crew was tunneling down to the surviving men. Water and liquids were passed down through a narrow hole. Yesterday, the miners were brought up one by one in a specially made capsule. Footage from the inside of the mine earlier showed that four men were sitting together, saying they felt relieved and secure now. Local official Zhang Shuping said the search for the miners still missing will continue and rescuers would use light detection equipment to try and locate them. The one man who was found dead was the company chairman, Ma Kongbo, who drowned himself by jumping into a mine while several days after the incident. The nation mines have been known as the world's deadliest for a long time, but safety improvements have reduced the deaths in recent years. This must have been absolutely terrifying for these men, but luckily most of them are now with their families. And those still down there, they're going to be rescued soon because now they're able to track where they are thanks to the miners who have already been rescued. Welcome back, I'm Court McGinley, and I have a bunch of cool new interesting news stories for you guys, so let's get right into it. So I have some interesting news for all of you Apple fans out there. The iPad 3 is going to be launching in March. The launch is rumored to take place during an Apple event on March 14th. The new iPad Air is said to have a better camera and an A9 chip, and a 9.7 inch screen, which is said to be much smaller than the company's latest 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Along with this, Apple is also expected to debut the new iPhone 5 SE and new watch straps. The new iPhone SE is predicted to have a faster A9 processor, M9 chip, more storage, better cameras, and an NFC chip so users will be able to buy goods using Apple Pay. And as for the watch, Apple is expected to show off a range of new watch bands, including a black version of the Melanie's Loop, new colors for Hermes straps, and another line of bands made from a new material. So for our next story, I want to know, if you guys saw someone dropping a winning lottery ticket on the ground, what would you do? Well, here we have a prankster named Josh Pollerlin. And here he's going up to people and asks them for a coin to scratch his lottery ticket, which is a fake ticket. And then he shows them that he just won $25,000. He drops the ticket and he walks away just to see how people would respond. And the results were shocking. YouTuber Josh Poller is the man who is behind the prank. And you've probably heard of him since he has over 1.5 million subscribers. Okay, so back to the video. So after realizing that he's won thousands of dollars, he returns the coin and then runs off. As he's running off, he pretends to drop the ticket while attempting to put it in his back pocket. The first man who he goes up to scrambles and runs over and grabs the ticket after it's dropped. Josh returns and questions the man and he denies taking it. And then this happens. Good yeah, man. You should read what it said behind. What is it by Santa Claus? Be validated <laughs> by the tooth fairy. It's not a real ticket, man. You playing games with me, man? Man, I just want to see if you're honest, you know? Should I be honest, you know? So for some reason, this man gets mad when he's the one being a thief. And this happens with many other people. They just pretend that they didn't even see the ticket getting dropped. But then Josh drops it in front of two homeless women. And they were the only two people to actually speak up and return it to him. And these are two people who could have used this money the most. And they were the ones who were decent and honest enough to give it back. Let me know, if you guys were in this situation, would you keep the lottery ticket or would you return it? Personally, I would return it. I'm not just saying that. I honestly would. I think karma, I just believe in karma so much, so I think it would get me if I didn't. Next, did you guys know that there's certain secret sites that you won't be able to to find on Google Earth as they are blurred out. Certain areas on Google Earth can be pixelated at request to preserve privacy. However, several areas seem to have disappeared for no reason. These areas are located in Valencia City and the Philippines, as well as an oil refinery in Hungary, among many others. Some conspiracy theorists claim that these secret areas include secret cities and UFO test areas. For example, there's one area in Russia in the Siberian tundra that is thickly blurred out on Google, and no one knows why. Hmm. Also, there's a prison in Ireland's country, Aeos, and it's a high security prison that is housing some of the country's most dangerous criminals. Hmm, again. And these are just some of the many blurred out areas. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you guys curious enough to check it out. Here we have a woman who is 112 years old and she smoked 30 cigarettes 
for the past 95 years. I thought smoking killed. But this woman says that it's the secret to a long life and it is to be stress free and keep active. Well, okay then. This is Batuli and she was born March 1903 and took up smoking in 1920 when she was just 17. And this is a habit she's continued while outliving almost everyone in her village. She says that she's been smoking for over 95 years. And there's nothing wrong with it. She says that smoking has helped her through a lot, including the fact that her husband deserted her eight decades ago, after he migrated to India in search for a job. After the devastating earthquake that hit Nepal earlier this year, the roof of her house caved in. However, she has refused to be relocated to a relative's home. But she does seem in good spirits and all of us here are wishing her the best. Next, I have a story for you guys about a 13 year old girl named Young Quing Quing, who was attacked in her home in Wuhan City, East China. And what's the weapon she was attacked with, you might ask? Well, it was a BB gun. And who was the attacker? It was her seven year old cousin. And the cousin insists they were just playing. I don't know about you guys, but me and my cousins, we never shot each other in the face 34 times with a BB gun. Yeah, she took 34 pellets to the face who does that? She was immediately rushed to a local hospital where doctors removed 10 pellets. She was then sent to Wuhan University Hospital where the last 24 pellets were removed using the help of 3D navigation. It took surgeons five hours to successfully remove all the pellets. Although her injuries were not life threatening, she could have been blinded as some of the pellets were in her eye socket. So now she's in recovery and all of us are wishing her the best. Well, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye. So make sure you guys like, subscribe for more news stories from around the globe. We have more stories right over here. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.